with covert narcissists is they are covert. The thing with all narcissists is they love to brag and they accidentally tell on themselves. Hello, lovelies. Welcome to Nut Free Formula. My name is Freedom. Thank you for joining me. Um, today, I am going to be reacting uh, to basically David DeMars coming out and telling us uh, covertly telling us what he's actually been up to. Um, as I said, narcissistic tells, narcissistic slips. They always tell themselves they can't help it. So uh, for those of you who are thinking, oh, gee, she's coming for David DeMar so hard, why doesn't she just drop it? I need people to understand that the crimes that David DeMar has been accused of are serious crimes. Um, sexual assault is, a, you know, that's a serious crime. And that's just one of many of the crimes that David Mars has been accused of by people over the years. Now, as you know, may or may not know, that particular crime um, never, ever made it to a court because David Mars' uh, attack dog, Kim Wilson, publicly bullied and humiliated the victim into submission, uh, into silence and into submission. So, yes, we are still coming for David because... He is a danger um, and there's just, you know, there's just no two ways about that. The man's dangerous. All right, lovelies, let's get on with it. So covert versus overt narcissist. So most people uh, most people have a general understanding of what, you know, narcissism is. Um, they, the overt narcissist is more overt, you know, it's more apparent. They're, they're kind of, you know, grandiose and tend to, um, you know, be very full of themselves, uh, brag a lot, you know, name drop. Um, just think they're, you know, special, they kind of have a real level of self-entitlement. The covert narcissists um, are the opposite because they are covert. I don't know why I did that. Covert. And so the way they work is different. What they do is they have this mask and they, they are continually telling people, I'm a really nice person. I'm a really good guy. They say, you know, um, I believe in these values, this, that, whatever. They say one thing publicly and then they do the complete opposite behind closed doors. And here is an example of this. So in this video, David DeMars was talking about um, what to do if you're dealing with someone at work that you think might be narcissistic or, you know, that is causing you problems at work. And this, uh, this is what he said. Oh, if I can get it to play. And this is what he said. Uh, take three. This is what he said. You can make them upset. You know, you, you can act like you're better than them and, and take little jabs. It's very narcissistic, isn't it? I'm just going to pause that just quickly because I want you to think of this context slightly different. So like I said, David's talking about um, being an employee, having issues with another employee and it's talking about the boss. Now, if you just change that to David, Val and the audience, right, then you have a better understanding of what David is actually doing and has been doing uh, to Val in the last five years with this ongoing smear campaign that he has been running on Val to try and ruin her reputation, uh, destroy her channel and to try and silence her. That's the key thing here with David. He's trying to discredit and silence Val. So here, here we go. Take little jabs at them, get them upset, ignore them, sometimes make them wait forever, not help them, and, and they're going to constantly go to the boss and complain or they're going to quit or they're going to do something worse to you and get fired, things like this. It's two, three, four years of this, and finally someone has a problem with me and it comes up and says something and I mumble, something subtle to their face. Did you hear that, people? He mumbles something subtle to their face, just like he dog whistles to Val, right? No one else can hear it. Val can hear it because it's directly at Val. And then? And stand back and smile and they lose their, you know what, in front of the boss. Boss isn't going to believe it's you. Yep. See that? So David Mars is talking about how to trigger someone then stand back with a smile, fake smile on your face, I might add, a fake smile on your face, and the boss is not going to believe that it's you, that you're the problem, right? 
even though you just triggered that person into reacting in front of the boss, but you're not the problem. This is what covert narcissists do. This is exactly what covert narcissists do. So even if this wasn't just the biggest tell in history, this is actually really bad advice. Uh, what David's saying is not actually how you deal with covert narcissists, but anyhow. Appreciate the best worker there is. So if you're a better employee and a better worker than them, you have an edge. Always be on time, always do your work. You can always talk to a boss or, or your superior about stuff like this, but be careful. You don't want to be drama. What I mean by that is I, I've managed many, many people. Really? You've managed many, many people. Once again, just quickly, um, David Demars is just a bold-faced liar. I mean, if he means managing drunks at the bar that he used to attend, yeah, sure, maybe. Okay, let's pretend that you were managing the drunks at the bar. If I have someone come up to me, just think about this, and it could be legit someone's bothering that person at work. They come up to me. He just said it could be legit someone is bothering them at work. Okay, so someone is coming to Mr. Manager over here with a problem, a legit problem that someone is bothering them at work. You know, once a week with a problem or an issue with other people. Every week, every week, every week. Guess who the problem is? Now you're the problem because you're the manager. And they came to you to resolve something and you didn't do anything about it. It's been unresolved. So they had to come back to you again and again. But you you don't know this because you weren't really a manager. You're just pretending that you were a manager. And these are the ways that narcissists will slip up and tell on themselves. Okay? There's not a manager alive who would say, oh, my employee kept coming to me with problems that they had, but I just did nothing. And, they, you know, they just kept coming back to me and coming back to me. And who was the problem? I mean, mate, <laughs> the narcissist. I mean, the manager. <laughs> the manager was the problem. The alleged manager. So we got, there's body language and things you can start doing. Here's some more of his advice on how to trigger, essentially, to trigger um, co-workers. Uh, as I said, this, uh, from an advice perspective, is just horrific, horrifically bad advice. Um, sh it's very passive aggressive, like I said, showing zero kind of skills, communication skills. I mean, there's just so much wrong with this, but as I said, it's it's the perfect tell. So we don't face them. We always face somewhere else. We don't have, answer their questions. We pause and make them wait a second. So this is what he does to Val all the time. You know, he 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 doesn't directly address her, but he talks in his comment sections. He talks about her. He talks to people about her. He has conversations about her, but he never actually addresses her ever. Two seconds, three seconds, four seconds. We don't look at them when we talk to them. We don't ask them any questions. We give them short one word answers. Yep, no, uh -huh. We stay on my phone, like here, here's my phone. And so I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna text while you're talking to me. And then and then with the long weighted answers he's gotta wait for, even one time I'll just completely not answer them. And they go, oh, oh sorry, what? And they go, oh, well, I'm, I'm trying to work it. So I don't know, ask me after work. I would love to talk to you about anything you want to talk about when we're off the clock. But when we're on the clock, i got to get my job done. Thank you. I love how, <laughs> how covert narcissists are always bragging about what they did. Oh, and I said this and I did that. I mean, <laughs> look at the face. Oh, Lord, the fake smile. That's the, the grimace. I call it his grimace. That's the grimace that he splashes every time he says hello to his people. It's fake. It's, uh, it's a grimace. And there's just no actual connection, no emotional connection. It's just a mask that he flashes, flashes on and off. Look at it fall off. It's really about finding, there's no exact way. It's really about what does this person respond to, right? There's tons of things you can do. And I don't want to give all the advice out, by the way. Um, you can make them upset. Now that smile, you can make them upset. And look at that big smile, right? See, this is someone, covert narcissists get a kick out of hurting people uh, uh, about causing, you know, hurt or suffering or sadness or grief, you know, or stressing someone out. Like he knows um, that that's what he does or is doing to Val. Like he knows, but 
he doesn't care and more than not caring he enjoys it and he's showing you right here this is a more genuine smile than that thing that he just grimaced at us that that white teeth flash that he just did two seconds ago this smile is actually more genuine and then he realizes oh shit i'm smiling about this watch the smile fade off you know you, you can <laughs> act like you're better than them and, and take little jabs it's very narcissistic isn't it yes it is very narcissistic and therefore why are you telling people to act like this like i said from an advice perspective terrible advice really really bad advice Take little jabs at them, get them upset, ignore them sometimes, make them wait forever, not help them, and, and they're going to constantly go to the boss and complain. What they're gonna do. Kind of like how you take all these little jabs at Val in your videos, constantly referring to my stalker, my stalker, my stalker. Oh, for those of you who don't know, I've been being stalked for six years. Uh, you take all these little jabs at Val, right, and then you just sit back and let her react and then point everyone in her direction saying, oh, look, look, look at how crazy she is. It's her. She's the problem. Or they're going to do something worse to you and get fired. Things like this. There's of this. And finally, someone has a problem with me and it comes up and says something and I mumble something. Mumble something subtle right in their face. Subtle to their face and stand back and smile and they lose their, you know what? They lose their shit, they lose their cool in front of the boss because you deliberately got up in their face and said something to trigger them. Huh. If all right, if people can't, if people watching this can't see that this is what covert narcissism looks like, then I'm sorry, people. I cannot help you. In front of the boss. Boss isn't gonna believe it's you. Boss isn't gonna believe it's you. Can you. Make them upset. Yeah, there's that smile. All right. Um, as I said, you know, this display. So not only, as I said, not only is he giving just shocking advice, but it's all, you know, it's all very telling about how he's dealing with the situation with Val. So, you know, they were equal employees, you know, employee, uh, sorry, employees, both of them, you know, YouTube employees. Right, and the audience is the boss because you know the more people that watch David to Mars or watch Val, you know, the more money they make on their channels, etc. Right, so that's his whole strategy is to turn up, do the work, act, act a certain character, this character, you know, do this fake thing, trigger the other person as much as you can, do it behind the boss's back so the boss doesn't realize well no one realizes but the only person that realizes is the person that you're triggering trigger them enough until they either lose their job or they complain so much that the boss doesn't want to hear from them anymore this is all exactly like i said exactly his mo for how he's dealing with val and how he continues to manipulate the audience um and as I said, if there's any of you David stands watching this video, if you can't, if you watch this and you still can't see it, yeah, there's just no help for you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, covert narcissism in action. As I said, they can't help but tell on themselves.